Okay, before I get into this too much, let's talk safety. Yeah, don't be a moron and mess with wires like this. Or use an insulator like that to keep frayed wires apart. Or use a plug like that. But at least I do have <coughs> a ground fault circuit interrupt uh, switch in line here, so yeah, it gives me a little bit of something. Anyway, old century. Very cool. Picked it up today. Very happy with it. Uh, yeah, go out here where we can actually see it a little better. Uh, first time I fired it up, just for a second, I really wish I had the camera on because, well, these things kind of flew out of it. It had a little bit of a rat's nest going on. You could see some bits and pieces still under that base, that piece of wood it's mounted to. And the bearings, of course, made a little noise. A little noise is very unnerving. I just hit the switch and turned it on and off as quickly as possible. And when I did that, heard the noise, added more oil, tried it again, added more oil. Actually, I, I took the oil cups out, which these both have holes in them where you can just put that in. But I took them out, put oil directly on top of the bearing, put the uh, felt piece back into place. And that actually pushed oil out to where I could see around the bearings, fired it up again. And it seemed to smooth out quite a bit, so really happy with it. Really, really happy with it. That just really impressed me. I don't begin to know how old this is. I'm sure someone knows immediately. They look at the badge, look at the back of the motor, know the series, know when they were made, yada, yada, yada. Love the fact that this is a uh, ceramic piece here. Really like that. And the funny thing is, <clears throat> yesterday was the day I first picked up a. Uh, an old century motor and it was this one uh, got that from a fellow fan collector works good except for the wire I boogered up on the way home that was great anyway that's that